Happy Friday, friends. TGIF, your girl is back in video form uh, with an on-time message because that's just how God works. I actually had something else that I wanted to talk about today. But when God, I have learned the power of when God puts something on your heart and in your spirit to just be obedient to him and, and to speak on that. A, um, a song by Travis Green came on while I was doing my praise and worship on Instagram uh, and Facebook. You can see it in my stories. Just want you. Do you know it? Oh, I love it. Uh, it's a simple but powerful refrain. And I am not a singer, but I love this song for worship, especially when you really wanting to be intentional about doing what is of God and making sure that you are asking for his will to be done and not yours. Take everything i don't want it i don't need it i just want you i just i love that song and over and over again this powerful plea and it got me to thinking that the longer you entertain what is not of god the longer you postpone what is say that another way be mad the longer you try to live thinking that you know better than God, the longer you postpone your blessings. You block them, right? Don't put that on God. I, his word said this and I've been praying and I've been doing this, but are you still entertaining what is not of God? Are you still trying to do things your way? Are you still trying to do things Brigitte's way? Like sometimes we have the audacity to think we know better than God. We don't. And a lot of times I feel like God is just chilling in the cut, waiting on us to realize that. Like he wants to do big, miraculous, just unimaginable things in your life, right? Ephesians 3.20. But here's the gag. You gotta be willing to be obedient. And a huge part of obedience is knowing that you can't entertain that which is not of God because you are postponing what is his promises, his blessings. He's a faithful God. He's going to do what he says, but you've got to take everything that is not of him out. Ask him to take it away. I don't want it. I don't need it. I just want you, right? When I think about these pinnacle figures in the Bible, um, Abraham and Sarah, uh, David, Noah, Daniel, Joseph, common denominator amongst all of them was obedience. Can you imagine Noah in 2021 out here building an ark because the Lord told him to? Not a raindrop in sight, right? Part of the country's in a drought, the ocean's on fire, we're in a pandemic, Delta variant has run amok. But Noah's steady building his ark. He's got his lumber day after day. Because God told him to. When you begin entertaining what is of God, sometimes you got to start building that ark even when it's not raining. Even when you don't, there's no rain in the forecast, right? It wasn't a forecast back in the day. All they know is they had been days and days without rain. But Noah started building this ark because God told him to. And well, you know what happened, right? We've got to be obedient. And that means we stop entertaining what is not of God. So we can stop postponing what is, what he wants to do in our lives. That's the Faithful Fridays. A little on the long side, I know. But I just can't help myself when I'm talking about Jesus. I get carried away. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time.